on the Vimeo side. So, so here is a great question about DRM. Um, Apple is probably the number one pirated site online. If you type into Google, like Ruth did, rip iTunes movie, you will have 20 solutions that cost $20 or less, some free, that give you the tools to remove DRM from an Apple download, so um, which, is, which, is, which is a thing. We, we believe, it, Apple got rid of DRM on music um, because it, they just, it was not effective and it was making the process of transferring a file from your I, iTunes account onto uh, you know, your portable music player that may not be an Apple product impossible and it was not a, a good consumer experience. Um, we at Vimeo uh, don't see the problem at the consumer level. It's not the consumers buying the, that are paying real money to buy the films that are then uploading them to pirate sites and sharing them. It's one individual pirate that is buying it, whether it's on a DRM-free site like, uh, like Vimeo or on a DRM-protected site like Apple and ripping it and then dropping it into the torrents and that's where the consumer base is finding it and they're finding it because of things like DRM that's making the experience less palatable. Now Vimeo is a platform recently announced that we were doing content match similar to what YouTube is doing to fight piracy at the platform level so that when people are putting illegally uploaded content onto our platform where a lot of people traffic and look for content that we can uh, systematically take that down and notify um, the user that they're violating a copyright as well as notify the owner of that material that it's been uh, that has been quarantined on the site. So, you know, we at the company take piracy very, very seriously. We are fighting it, but we believe that the fight needs to happen not by punishing the consumer with a less desirable experience. In fact, exactly the opposite of that, but where we can control it on the platform level, we fight it vigorously. 